So this is how to create a yin-yang symbol in Inkscape. Um, it's maybe not the best way, but it seems to work. I'm going to create a bunch of circles, so the E tool for the ellipse, and you should see the keys here, I hope, and drag with the control key to fix it to a one-to-one -one aspect, so a circle rather than some other ellipse. Um, I'm going to turn off this stroke here, I don't need it. And now um, F1, get the selection tool, and I'm going to duplicate it five times, so I have six circles in the end. So I duplicate, and I'll change the color so that you can see here. It comes on top, actually. Duplicate again, change the color. Duplicate again, it's four circles. Duplicate again, five circles, and six circles. <coughs> Now I'm going to start by making these small inner circles and I will shrink using the transform. I'll shrink the top circle 50% and then the next circle 50% and I will line them up using the align tool, control shift A and um, using relative to first selected. So I select the back circle first as a reference and now the bottom circle, center it, move it down, select the back circle top one, center it, and move it up. And I will now shrink them again. Um, I'm just going to take 50%. You might want to do more because it looks like they're actually smaller, but for now I'm leaving it like that. And now shift-click the top one and move them off. <coughs> now to make the big part of the symbol, basically repeat what I just did. Select this, uh, shrink it 50%. Select next circle, shrink it. Uh, let me just change the color there because it's kind of hard to see. Um, okay. And uh, align them up again. So a reference circle, the bottom one, uh, shift click and uh, center it, move it down, uh, the back one, and first then the top circle and center it and move it up. And now I'm going to do something in Inkscape which is kind of nice is double click on this circle and you get this point where you can change the fractional circle you see. So I'm going to make a half circle. I drag this up holding the control key to make it 90 degrees. Drag this down to make it 90 degrees on the bottom to get a perfect half circle. F1 to get the selection. Shift click on the top one to add it <coughs> to the selection. Now path union. Uh, shift click on the bottom small circle and path difference and you basically have it except that the back part is still a circle so um, I'm going to take this half and duplicate it control D and um, flip it horizontally and vertically and again I'll change the color so it's easier to see and now select the back circle as a reference and the small piece that we just created in front and line it up to the right so that's basically the symbol. I'm going to group these, select both, and do Control G, and now move it down and delete this back reference circle because it's not needed anymore. Now to make these small circles the right color, I select the top one, and then D for the dropper tool, and click on this um, part here to suck up that color, um, and now select the bottom one, and then D for dropper tool, and click this to get that color. Now I will group these small circles with Control G and move them over. They're behind, so while they're selected, hit the page up to bring them up. And if you select everything and do a vertical and horizontal align, you have what you want, the whole thing. Um, if you want, you could change the stroke. You could select everything and go stroke and make it some color. Um, yellow, uh, etc. So that's it. Um, have fun.